I've been making pause works since 1996 and um, after I finished the initial drawings and paintings uh, that I presented um, in a space in Hamilton actually, I decided that the body of work would keep going and unlike other series of paintings that stop and well that start and finish, um, the pause paintings will carry on and on. And my interest in geometric abstraction covers um, object-based paintings through to installation and collaboration with groups of people. So within the context of the paintings, um, it allowed me to think about how to make uh, a geometric image in a way that allowed me some opportunity to set the parameters of what these paintings were going to be, but also let me make a painting uh, where a system or a formula, if you like, helped me make decisions about what to do next. Once you start making a work using a system, it, uh, it unfolds itself and I simply make the work at times. Um, and what comes out of it is often surprising. Um, and that's another reason why I use this way to make work, that it creates uh, images that I wouldn't come up with myself. It, uh, it's like the system makes, partly makes the work. Uh, black. I don't think of it as neutral or a non-colour. Um, it's part of my interest in trying to keep the work as simple as possible. It's part of my approach to abstraction. It's a very reductive approach. I try to get less or do less um, uh, with the work. I feel they're very handmade works. And when you do look closely, there's lots of material and evidence on the surface. You, know, you can see pencil marks at times. Sometimes there's numbers written on the surface. I made nine drawings and the pattern um, operates in a different way in every, in every work. The, uh, the titles refer, they're quite literal references to the way the sequences work in these pieces. And as you progress down through the work, a new pattern is created through things that link up, say on these diagonals, similar shapes link up, some elements line up and other things disconnect and this is what's surprising about the work really that I don't know how it's going to work out, I just follow the, follow the pattern and it ends up being what it is and I just accept that as a finished work. Sometimes um, error occurs and I, I choose at that time whether to accept that or not as a decision. Um, but there's a lot of um, a lot of steady action, repetitive action, measuring which allows me to make another mark and measure and make another mark and so on. I'm never sure what's going to turn out in the end and although I might develop a drawing or the idea um, in my mind, when you're actually there in front of the painting, uh, the viewer as such, um, things happen that I'd never have expected and that's, that's, uh, that's a wonderful part of it really, that sense of surprise. Um, the way they operate visually to the viewer is very different to how I construct them as an artist.